As Grand Blue Fantasy Relink gears up for its release this year, Psy Games have been releasing more and more gameplay footage of the game, which is very welcome as it's a complete contrast to years of radio silence prior to 2022. Recently, at the Psy Games Cup Special 2023 for Grand Blue Versus, Psy Games hosted a trial corner for Grand Blue where a few lucky players were able to get hands on time with the game, and while we weren't able to find impressions on how the game played in the demo, the developers did release information on all of the different playable characters that appear so far, plus insights into their playstyle. So in today's video, we're going to go through all of the new information so that you can be up to speed and get an idea of which characters you want to pick up when the game launches. But since we haven't had our hands on the game yet, let's see who in the community is a 5 head big brain 1000 IQ, and we want you to select which character you think will be the OP one in advance, or just straight up have the best DPS by looking at the gameplay footage in this video here. And if you enjoy these videos, you can support them by clicking like down below and subscribing so you don't miss out on the next one from us here on the channel. In total, there were seven playable characters that were shown off in the lead up to the demo, and Psy Games have been giving us descriptions of all of them, so let's start off with Gran and see what the developers have to say about him. They say he's an all-rounder who specializes in short-range attacks and can respond to any situation by using abilities with various effects. It is a character that's easy to operate, even for beginners of action games. To us, this character looks like it's going to be a good starting place for everyone to get a handle on the game and its gameplay mechanics. But next we have Katarina, where they say it's a character who can cover short and long distances with a magical sword. By attacking the enemy and building up the gauge, you can summon the Star Crystal Beast Ares and unleash a combination attack. So with a mix of magic and sword attacks, this one looks kind of insane, and I can't wait to try out because I love both of those things, and this looks like it might be a pretty good mix of them. Next is Rackham, and they say, Gun attacks allow you to safely attack enemies from a distance. It's a character recommended for those who want to leave the vanguard to an ally and go on the rear to support. We think it's really nice that they have a more traditional ranged type character in the game, and the dodge teleport ability definitely looks crazy cool. Next is Io, and they say it's a character that's good at attacking and supporting allies with magic abilities that have special effects. Using high-powered charge attacks and recovery magic, it's possible to play an active role according to the situation. Of course, it wouldn't be a fantasy game without a classic caster type, and it looks like IO won't just be for casting but also for support too, so it'll be interesting to see how the mechanics are laid out for switching between damaged focus magic and support focused magic. Then there's Charlotte. This is a character that can enjoy three-dimensional and exhilarating actions such as high-speed consecutive attacks and the ability to attack while closing the distance from the air at once. This one looks crazy and has super fast speed bouncing around all over the place and looks like it's going to be a ton of fun to play, so this one might be for me. But then there's Lancelot, a character who can enjoy speedy actions such as attacking while dodging enemy attacks with quick movements. It's also possible to freeze the enemy and stop their movement. This is one for the dual blade players from Monster Hunter and possibly one for 269 on the channel as well because it has a parry dodge which looks awesome and 26 loves his parry dodges. It definitely looks like it has a focus on fast hitting attacks like Charlotte, so this one's looking pretty interesting too. Next is Siegfried, a character who is characterized by powerful attacks with a large sword. Although the technique of inputting combos with good timing is required, if you connect them well, you can unleash a dynamic high power attack. We all know there is a joy in using a more slow but heavier hitting sword, kind of like the great sword in Monster Hunter, and Siegfried is looking like your guy if this is your preferred playstyle. So this is all of the characters that the demo has released so far, but we do know that there are plenty more characters in the game, so hopefully in the lead up to the game, we'll be able to see those in action too. We also think it would be great to get our hands on the actual demo that they've showed at the Grand Blue Cup as well, but there isn't any word at the moment if this will be playable beyond that event. However, if that does change, we will definitely let you know and we're definitely going to try it out for ourselves because we can't wait to play this. You guys often ask us to see and hear the gameplay for the full experience that it offers you, so we've compiled all of these trailers together for you to watch in one easy place right now. に任せてもらおう。ちゃ、ちゃ、ちゃ、そこだ。断ち切る。ちゃ、仕掛ける。エンチャントランクス。ほっ。ちゃ、もらった。ちゃ。流れを変える。行くぞ、あれ。ち
やるきゃねえなあらあらここだそらテリアこの球にかけるふっぱすどこ見てやがる気合い入れてくぜそらそらうらうらこいつは暗いなデュレーションはあ終わりだ派手にぶちかますぜバリッシュピアスThank you for watching, and the two videos on screen now we think you'll really enjoy if you did enjoy this one. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to, but if you found this video interesting, you're probably going to like these ones too. And then tell us what you think after watching in the comments down below.